Hi, I am Dr. Nagateja. I am an interventional radiologist at Clinic 7 Hyderabad. So today uh, I am going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions about varicocele, a common yet often ignored condition in men and how it can be treated effectively using a modern non-surgical method called embolization. That too with using the latest glue and foam technique. So whether you are worried about pain, fertility or planning a procedure, this video is for you. Let's get started. So the first most common question which I get asked is what exactly is a varicocele? So what is a varicocele? A varicocele is a dilation or enlargement of the veins inside the scrotum. That's the bag which holds the testis. So think of it like varicose veins which happen in the legs. But if that same problem happens in your scrotum around the testis, it's called varicocele. It's caused by faulty valves in the veins that allow blood to flow backward instead of moving forward and they pull up and create pressure. How common is varicocele in India? Uh, to be very frank, it's, it's quite common. Uh, because it's not noticeable on the outside and, and most of the varicoceles are silent, I mean it doesn't give up much symptoms, so it goes unnoticed. But studies suggest up to even 15-20% to 20 of all men in India have some grade of varicocele. And among men which face infertility, it's almost seen in almost 40% of the cases. What are the symptoms of varicocele? Some men don't have any symptoms, but when they do, some of the most common ones are dull aching pain or heaviness in the scrotum, a visible or palpable lump or swelling which you can feel on the outside, um, pain or discomfort while standing or after exercise or after any uh, strenuous physical activity, and sometimes uh, some people even notice decrease in the size of the testis over a period of time and and when they are not able to conceive uh, for longer times and when they get their tests done uh, they observe there is a decrease in the sperm quality as well as quantity the sperm count and the other parameters so these are usually the different uh, kinds of uh, symptoms or signs which we get to see whenever there is a varicocele can varicocele cause infertility yes and sometimes no let's understand this is one of the top most uh, frequently asked questions so varicocele what happens because the blood is getting pooled and it is not being sent out of the scrotum as fast as it should so it increases the temperature within the scrotum and it alters the sperm production environment because of that there will be certain changes happening over a period of time and you may end up having problem with decreased sperm counts, uh, decreased quality of the sperms in terms of motility and morphology. And indirectly, it may even cause reduction in the testosterone values and that in turn again may reduce the sperm quantity and quality. So in a way, yes, it can cause infertility, but not always. So it's always better to get yourself thoroughly checked for all the related parameters if you are facing difficulty in achieving pregnancy. So another common question is, does every varicocele need treatment? Um, no, I guess. Uh, if the varicocele is small, painless and not causing any infertility, it may not need any treatment. However, the treatment is recommended when there is 1. Pain or discomfort, 2. Testicular shrinkage, I mean atrophy or decrease in the size of the testis is noticed. And three, when you're planning for a family and semen analysis is found to be abnormal, these, these three are the definitive indications for you to get treated for varicocele. And sometimes uh, you may have had unsuccessful IVF or IUI attempts. In, certain, in such cases also, in the presence of varicocele, uh, that may be hampering your uh, success rate. Yeah, in such cases also with failed IVF or IUI attempts with a, even a minor grade varicocele like grade 1 or 2 may also be uh, recommended for treatment. What are the treatment options for varicocele? See, there are two main approaches for varicoceles. One is a surgical approach, one is without surgery that is embolization route. In surgery, there are three to four different types of surgeries. But uh, the most uh, common and the most successful uh, type of surgery for varicocele in case of infertility is 
microscopic surgery. That has always been the gold standard for surgical route when you want to get it treated in cases of infertility. Coming to non-surgical treatments, it's called varicocele embolization. It's a non-surgical image guided procedure. This is performed by an interventional radiologist like us. And that embolization is also of two to three different types uh, depending on the material used to block the veins. Ultimately, embolization is blocking the faulty veins so that the blood is routed through the normal channels and the pressure on the scrotum in the testicular veins is reduced. So roughly, again, there are two different approaches, surgery and non-surgical approach. In surgery, microscopic surgery is the best option and in non-surgical treatments, glue and foam technique is the best option. What is varicocele embolization with glue and foam? Uh, it's a minimally invasive procedure uh, done through a tiny puncture in the neck or sometimes in the thigh. So here's what happens. A fine catheter is guided into your uh, faulty testicular vein and a special medical grade glue and a foam sclerosant are injected. So this immediately closes the vein permanently and reroutes the blood through healthy veins. Uh, it has no stitches, no general anesthesia, no hospital stay. It's a daycare procedure. It's a very comfortable procedure. So why embolization instead of surgery? As such, embolization is less invasive, painless, and recovery is faster. And in this glue and foam technique, the recovery is much faster. There is no metal left behind. There is no risk of coil migration. And most importantly, the recurrence chances are almost less than 5% according to the data. So this combination gives excellent results, especially in fertility related cases. How long does the procedure take? Typically it takes about 30 to 45 minutes. You can rest for an hour or two and then go home the same day. You can uh, immediately resume your normal activities the same day itself. However, strenuous physical activity can be resumed uh, by the end of one week. Is the procedure painful? Not at all. It's done under local anesthesia with mild sedation. You, The maximum pain which you feel is just the sting of a small injection in your thigh. And once that is done, you will not feel anything. You will be awake all during the procedure. Uh, you will be seeing, you will be able to see what we are doing, but you will not feel anything. Are there any side effects or risks for this? Any medical procedure will carry some of the other side effects or some of the other risks. But uh, fortunately with embolization, there are very, very, very minor side effects. Like in initially the first uh, you know, three to four days or sometimes even up to a week or two, you may have a mild back pain or a groin discomfort. It's, it's, it's a really uh, mild discomfort, not a obvious pain which you'll feel in the initial few days. And that gradually decreases day by day and doesn't increase. That is one. The second one is at the point where we put your needle inside, uh, that area can be a little tender or let's say uh, you'll feel it like a little redness and bruising at that little puncture site for about five to six hours uh, nothing after that rarely recurrence happens so recurrence is nothing but the same varicocele coming back again i mean the same veins uh, which were blocked earlier they will be blocked but the other veins which were carrying the normal blood which were normal back then can again become you know uh, dilated and damaged due to any reasons but if that happens you may have to get it treated again however this recurrence can be limited and can be avoided if you follow certain you know precautions which will be told when you come to us serious complications are extremely rare and uh, especially when they are done by an experienced uh, interventional radiologist how soon can i return to work or physical activity Desk jobs, usually within one to two days. Light exercise after maybe three or four days or maximum within a week. And gym or heavy lifting works, wait for at least one to two weeks after the embolization. Compared to surgery, this is much faster, at least a week or two earlier compared to surgery. Will embolization help improve fertility or sperm count? Yes, in many cases, men show significant improvement in sperm count and motility within three months after embolization along with certain medications it is also helpful before assisted reproduction techniques like ivf or iui is embolization better than surgery see surgery and embolization are two different solutions for a same problem one is 
not better than the other there are these are two different options and it is for the patient to choose which is better but in certain cases surgery may be better in certain cases embolization may be a better option it is always better to consult your uh, doctor especially the urologist or the interventional urologist and understand your situation first why are you getting treated for varicosis is it for pain is it for infertility and in that case how bad is your pain or how bad is your infertility or what is your exact situation and what are the different treatment options which can help you in that discussion you will be able to understand which treatment is better for you and then you have to take it forward but there is no general answer for this however in many cases embolization is better than surgery because it has similar or sometimes even better success rates it has much faster recovery there are no surgical cuts or scars involved there are no stitches and both sides can be treated in a single session without again no scars and no stitches and when compared to older embolization techniques the current glue and foam techniques offer much better efficient closure rates of varicocele and much lower risks of recurrence and any other complications like coil migration fracture and all those so latest embolization techniques are on par or sometimes better than surgery however sometimes there are certain situations where surgery only is recommended and in certain situations both can be performed so you have to take a decision after discussing with your interventional urologist can this be done for teenagers or unmarried men uh, it has to be treated sometimes especially when the varicocele is large painful or causing testicular shrinkage that is reduction in the testicular size so because early treatment helps preserve future fertility and testicular health no it cannot be uh, you know uh, just brushed off that uh, he's still teenager there's uh, he's unmarried so no those are not uh, any kinds of uh, you know uh, contraindications those those are not any limitations to get yourself treated sometimes varicocele may be so severe in even at an age of 16 18 to an extent where the boy will have severe pain and uh, you know inconvenience in his groin and in such cases it has to be treated because if left untreated going down the line by the time he becomes 24 25 26 there may be testicular shrinkage and there may be problems with fertility so to avoid yes at any age if a varicocele is large painful and has already caused testicular problems yes it has to be treated irrespective of the age will the varicocele come back after embolization this is one of the most commonly asked questions and of course one of the common worries and you know fears about embolization or even surgery also so the recurrence rate is very low especially with glue and foam technique less than 5% in experienced hands however i said recurrence rate is very low it doesn't mean that it will not come back if the lifestyle of the patient continues to be the same even before and after the treatment there is a certain chance that yes the varicocele in some or the other form of severity can come back however as i said previously if you follow certain precautions which we will tell you at the time of consultation if you are following those precautions it is it is very rare for you to experience symptoms or trouble with your varicocele after the treatment even if it comes back and in the worst case if it comes back yes you always have the option to get yourself embolized again whenever it comes back at a later date but as i said again it is less than 5% with the uh, latest glue and foam technique when it is performed in experienced hands so if you are suffering from discomfort fertility issues or simply worried about the bulge in your scrotum know that uh, treatment is available varicocele embolization is a safe effective and modern solution if you have more questions drop them in the comments below thank you for watching this is dr nagateja helping you to make informed decisions about your health take care and stay healthy bye